Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a fall Halloween decor haul for you. I shopped at Winners Home Sense Dollarama and I have a bunch of really good finds to share with you in this video. I'm not sure, I was trying to think, have I done a fall decor haul before in the past? I feel like it's something that I would have done because I watch these all the time, but maybe I haven't. I'll have to go back and check, but we have this video here for you today and I cannot wait to share with you my finds. I'm absolutely in love with all the pieces I was able to find. And I have a good portion of stuff from Dollarama too. So if you want some affordable decor, definitely check out this video. If you guys like the sound of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to maybe do more seasonal decor videos in the future. You have no idea how Christmas is for me. <laughs> you should see my house. If you follow me on Instagram, I always show you guys everything decorated. That I need to ease off on, but I can pick up a few pieces for Halloween and fall still because we have some room to play with and that's what I picked up this year. So I cannot wait to show you guys what I picked up. So thank you guys so, so much for clicking on this video for spending some time with me today. If you have not already, I would love, love, love for you to join my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos and let's go ahead and begin this decor haul. At first I was reluctant to get these because the material, I don't know. For some reason at my winners, sometimes the blankets and pillows have this kind of old book smell to them and that's the best way to describe it for me. It doesn't smell good. I'm gonna have to do something about the smell of these but I still got it anyways regardless just because I love the print on this. The tag on here says sweet treat and the actual one on the pillow says witch crafters. Hopefully this is helpful for you to find and these were regular $42 and I got them for $29.99 each. Still kind of pricey for a pillow, honestly, but I love that these ones are a zip so that I can actually remove the pillow insert and then wash this fabric because we know this is gonna get dirty. <laughs> this is very light, but I love the off white color with black for my house. That's kind of what I'm into right now, not just straight white, like I have a lot of things. This is a bat print pillow. I even like the trim around the pillow and the back of it also has bats. So no matter what way I put it, you're gonna be seeing the bats, which I really like. So I got two of those. Here's the other one. I don't wanna hold them too long because as I said, they have a smell to them. Why? Can someone explain what that smell is? It's not good. A lot of the stuff I did pick up is Halloween. I don't know why that was standing out to me more than the fall stuff. I felt like all the fall stuff at my Winners and Home Sense was just not my style, but I saw this and I thought it was really nice. It's an industrial looking pumpkin, which I really like kind of metal accents in my home. And I feel like it suits anywhere in the house. And I can't find the pricing on this, but I think it was $12.99 for this metal pumpkin. I like the sort of design because you can see through it and I feel like that keeps the space still open. So this is perfect for my living room which has really tall ceilings and I don't like to close off at all. So that is where this is going. Try putting it on my coffee table, possibly my kitchen table, we'll see, because my living room goes into family room. It's kind of one whole big room with kitchen. If I figure out where this is going, maybe I'll insert a little clip of that, but I'm still unsure. And I don't think Charles wants me to decorate this soon. <laughs> I was looking at last year photos for kids going back to school and I already had everything up. So I'm a little late this year. I found two sets of tea towels that I really liked. However, I decided only on this one and I'm regretting it now because I went back today to see if they had it and the pumpkins weren't there. I do like this one more, but I still, I should have picked it up because it was similar sort of design to it. So it has these ghosts on the tea towel. I love the fabric of it and it's that off white color, which I think is really nice for my home. That's what I'm enjoying. Then it has another one that's reversed and then it has the orange one, which I'm probably not going to use. Might give that away to someone who likes that, but I really like these. And in the other set that had the pumpkins, I think it was just the top one that I really, really wanted. It was my favorite out of anything, but the other two weren't my favorite. So that's why I went with this. And I think they're really cute. So love these little ghosties. And I also love the bottom of these. A little bit frayed looking, just super cute. Minus this, that needs to come off. <laughs> Speaking of ghosts, my daughter was out shopping with me on one of the trips and she saw this pillow, which I thought would fit in. <laughs> Honestly, she really liked it. It was super cute. It's this 
big ghost pillow and they had a bunch of different ones at a home sense that I went to. They had a pumpkin cat, Frankenstein, and something else, I think, but the ghost I still like the best and that was the only one that was carried at my winners. So we have him and then I saw this outfit and I couldn't resist it for my daughter. Comes with this turtleneck long sleeve top. Little frills at the end, which I think are cute, which matches the collar around the top. And then for the skirt, it's just this beautiful orange color, rusty color with the buttons on it. And I thought this would be so cute for fall paired with some tights. And it also has a headband that goes along with it. It's just so cute. Ariana tried this on and says she looks like a Scooby-Doo character. So she says that's a good thing. <laughs> It's so cute though, but I know exactly what she means. It's like a cross between Velma and Daphne, I feel, that outfit. Next, I bought a couple things from Ray Dunn. I've never got anything from that collection before. However, I think the lettering of it kind of works perfectly for Halloween. And I end up picking up what looks like a poison bottle just for some decor in my kitchen. I thought it was hilarious. I, sh I showed Alex this and he thinks it's funny just having poison in my kitchen. No one's gonna ever wanna eat at my house now. And then also I saw these two hand soaps, which I thought were really cute and I can always refill these. They smell really good now. They're a cranberry apple scent, also from Ray Dunn, and they look like this. I picked up the two that were the same. There was also another design, but I like this one a little bit more. I like how tall and thin these are, and I thought these would look cute for Halloween hand soaps. I never think to buy hand soaps at Winners. I don't know why, but those stood out to me and I instantly added those to cart. The last thing I have here was from another haul that I got near the end of the summer, which I thought would work well incorporating this into fall. And this is just a vase. It was $12.99 comparable at $20. Just one of those circle vases and it's fairly small, so you're not gonna fit much into this. However, I went to Dollarama to look at their faux flowers and I have a perfect flower for it for Halloween. This does come longer. I already cut it though to fit into the vase. And this is just a black rose. I thought it was really cute just to sit in there. This also sits in my living room. So just thought that was a cute little addition, really affordable from Dollarama. If you're looking for little touches to add to your existing decor, I just feel like that definitely makes it more Halloween and spooky. Almost forgot this, still have something from Winners. One more thing from Winners that I almost forgot, it was hanging over here. And I've always wanted to get this hair out of my face. <laughs> I've always wanted to get a Halloween costume at Winners. And I saw this one and my daughter wants to be an angel this year and I thought it was perfect. She saw it and loved it. It's this beautiful angel dress. It's down to the floor. It has these see-through sleeves on it, but I like it because this can be layerable too because you never know for our Halloweens here, if it's gonna snow, will they need a whole snowsuit under this? Or whether it's gonna be hot and have nothing under these sleeves, you never know. The wings are a tinier wing, so it's not gonna weigh her down, which I like. And the best part about this is the halo it comes with is so beautiful. Almost looks like a garter, probably to fit my thighs. You know what, let's see. Yep, that's a garter for my thigh. <laughs> Why would I do that? Anyways, this is the halo that comes with the angel costume. It's cute because it has this bow at the back, has that tool detailing, and it also lights up, which is going to be incredible for at night. It looks amazing in photos. I think it's absolutely stunning, and I cannot wait for her to wear this for Halloween. I wasn't able to find a Halloween costume that my son really liked, so I'm actually gonna be making his this year. So hopefully it turns out good and it's not raining because that's gonna ruin it. I didn't really think about that. I'm gonna have to look into that, but I'm planning on making his costume this year. So you guys will see it. I'll probably post it on Instagram or something if you're curious as to what he's being. So cute though, but you have to be there early for the costumes because I do find those get picked over quite fast. I found a 7-8 in there for Ariana. She said she wants to wear this next year, which is a bonus if she actually does. <laughs> next is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> as soon as my son, spotted these at Dollarama. I knew I had to have them. Initially, he brought me this duck. 
the rubber duck, but he's in a costume, a skeleton rubber duck. How cute is that? Seriously. Somehow we ended up with two, which I'm not complaining about, but I also spotted in the bin, they had a couple different other characters. These are the only ones that I could see. So we have Frankenstein duck and a cat duck, which is seriously the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Just makes me wanna take a bath and play with these. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. <laughs> Just gonna sit them out here and look at them while I'm filming and they'll bring me happiness. If you have little kids or a child like me, get yourself these Halloween rubber duckies. They are so cute. Then we ended up coming home with this random light up pumpkin ball thing. That will keep them entertained for a day. And then I saw these and thought of my mom. She collects salt and pepper shakers and I text her and she didn't have any gourds. So I picked these up for her, they were $4. They're just little salt and pepper shakers, which I thought were super cute. So those are for her. And then the last thing we have is nothing big, but my daughter saw this cat there that she wanted to hang on her door. And I thought it was really cute. It's really cheap cheaply made too but you know what for halloween hang this on her door and then alex ended up picking up this pumpkin one these will go on their bedroom doors and that is everything that i picked up for fall and halloween i hope you guys enjoyed this little collection of hauls from winter's home sense and dollarama I have a lot of stuff actually from dollarama so some super affordable finds that you can go pick up that are out in store now do you guys like watching seasonal decor videos because i know i do so I couldn't wait to share this with you. So if you like these videos, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to do this in the future. And I would love to know what you guys have picked up recently, some of your favorite finds. I know those ghost Halloween blankets are really popular if you find them at Winners or Marshalls. And I've had my eye open just to see if I could pick one up. I probably would give it away to someone who really, really wanted it if I was able to find it, but that's kind of what I've been eyeing at Winners. I didn't want to overdo it because I do like to add little pieces each year and I'm really happy with what I added to my collection of decor this year. So that is it for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have not already, I would love for you to join the family here by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell if you want to be notified of all my future videos and I will see you guys in my next video.